I'm Bailey. This is Same Shit, Different Day. I'm here with Raza, my, my wonderful co-host right here. And we also got our resident, resident wine mom. Say hi, wine mom. Hello. And today we're bringing you some talks about the Euro Cup. Now, this is because we definitely do not understand this shit because all of a sudden we just got streets full of Italians with pride and like, why? Why? You know, I, well, the, the pride is welcomed. The pride is welcomed. But why, why are we all? <laughs> because why are we all marching for a soccer team? That's why. I realized I came up very We're marching racist. to madness for a soccer team. Marching into madness for a soccer team. There you go. That's a good pun. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, I like yes. that one. <laughs> but so Raza was supposed to introduce it and I'm winging it. That's why I blew it and came off prejudiced at the beginning. So how are we discussing these soccer teams first, my friend? Um, before I go on this rant, I just want to commend Bailey for, for having a switch, like a psychopath and stuff. So I wish I could, I wish we could all do, do that. Just go from human to podcast mode like a crazy per oh. I won't be able to, to, do, to, to do that <laughs> but um, so the angle that I think that we should I sound but I sound I, okay um the angle that we should take and I was thinking about talking about it, just like how the bandwagoners just jumped on we're like we even know uh, how do you Italia Italia or some shit like like that we're like you lived here all your life, you white boy and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All you do is have spaghetti on Fridays. That, that's it. That's 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 your 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 your, your, your thing. You aren't actual fans, but then I, I know two of my friends are obsessed with this stuff. They're like, yeah, this player, he's my like number one pick on everything. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Well, I just don't want England to win. I'm whatever team is going. Yeah. To win. So, so are you saying you think there's like industry plants of soccer fans? Like you think there's people <laughs> popping in saying like, yo, I've been a fan this whole time. Yeah, you think so? Probably, man. How do you get the hype up? That's what I've seen. I've seen a lot of people that are like involved in soccer, right? Yeah. But then all of a sudden they they love Italy. Italy's the best. It's like, mm, mm, this is where I'm getting suspicious of your soccer fandom because I believe that you're a fan of this sport in general, but you did, you weren't sitting here singing the praise of this specific team your whole career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like when you you talk to them, their their favorite uh, soccer players are probably either Ronaldo. Messi, and that's it. They don't know exactly. Else. You're like, and then when we'll you start talking about such and such, you're like, oh yeah, I, uh, I know that player. He used to hang out with Messi or Ronaldo. He used to play with Ronaldo. They somehow bring it back to them when it doesn't. I don't think they actually played with them. They probably played against them and shit. But um, yeah, it's just it's just jokes. How like everybody on Instagram, even on the like those Toronto pages, I could see like people going to the bars, the clubs. They're like, yeah, we're sporting France, Spain. I was like, can you name the top player of each of those teams? Probably not. So yeah, off. yeah, it was a little you, bit you got, you, That's that's where my thoughts get confused on this because on other sports i get it right other sports we're, we're playing the basketballs every day we're, we're we're scoring some touchdowns you know and you develop the fandom for that team on a consistent basis based on their marketing based on like being a fan of that club even like regular season soccer or football right in britain it's a huge thing especially for their local communities like yeah i support brighton cool but then all of a sudden it's like <laughs> were you literally these past these, these past four years, yeah, these past four years you were following all of the Italian team? Or these past four years you were following every single player on England? I I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm being honest, I can't name you like yeah, I can't name you any but again, besides Bessie. Of Ronaldo and that guy on 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 Brazil, he's apparently good too. He's like blonde hair and whatnot. Neymar. Uh, 
Neymar. See, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. See, that's the only three that I, I can't can believe you didn't bring up Beckham. Beckham, bend it like Beckham. long retired. What do you say? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He's still like a you know well known soccer Michael, player. Yeah. He's like the MJ of of of, of basketball. And he got to marry a Spice Girl, okay? Okay, yeah. so he gets the ultimate award for marrying a Spice Girl, but he does not get the <laughs> Michael Jordan comparison at all. I don't think so. Okay. 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 This okay. iconic. So though. who then in soccer? Who, oh, soccer. Yeah, who then? Yeah. That's what he's Ter saying. Like in regards to soccer, it's Beckham. You guys are making me no, upset. I think you guys are making Beckham me upset. Both from of you. soccer, Both of you. American shit. Soccer. Stop saying Beckham soccer. Gets Stop saying soccer. Oh, football. <laughs> football. Football. <laughs> football. Yeah, no, um, not, not me. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> David Beckham in the football was the expert. He was the Babe Ruth. David Beckham was the one who could ding the corner shots, but David Beckham wasn't, like, the best all-around player. I think well, at he, the time... He mainstreamed it. He mainstreamed yeah. it as... That's a word. Yeah, it's but... Like there like, were, it's, but it's the same thing. Like, there was definitely better skateboarders than Tony Hawk, but Tony Hawk is skateboarding. I'll give you... A, okay, Bailey, is there another football player that has a movie after him? Ronaldinho. Okay, never mind then. If I'll just... <laughs> um, that's, for the time, that said, that's a valid point I didn't consider. You got a valid point, mine, mom. Sorry, go on. My bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. I didn't know you're trying to. No, no, I wasn't saying anything. I was just saying that. You're right. You're right. You're right. He had the whole movie called Bend It Like Beckham and all of that, right? Which was like yeah. a, a big thing because then that that. Yeah. The movie itself wasn't big, but the fact that you can name a movie simply based off of his namesake shows a lot, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I wonder how much he's worth. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Jesus, that would be a mindfuck to look at, because, yeah, a lot. <laughs> he mm -hmm. owns a lot of shit. Um, that said, it's like, because that's the difference between me calling him a great like Jordan is Beckham at the end of his career gave up and came to America. You know what I mean? Someone like Jordan, he played baseball for a minute, but he came and finished basketball during s sort of his prime rather yeah. than like Beckham sold out. Beckham was like, OK, I'm too old to play with the, my cohorts. So fuck y'all. I'm going to go make America and make make money in America. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. He he's worth four hundred and fifty million dollars. So that's like a cool, that's like an a, a believable amount of money. Yeah. yeah. Really? But, I'm surprised. Yeah. It's way less than I thought. Yeah, but like I I I like it's just weird because like how we're talking about fake fans over the last like two years, I've been getting heavily invested in. And um, basketball. So, like, all if you go on my, my Instagram, my entire explore page is just that. So now I can actually have a conversation. Now I was having a conversation, a full fledged conversation with sports heads about basketball, and she oh, barely just discovered something. Basketball. Basketball. Well, I discovered mm. something because you're saying you. Sh how fucking Jesus! Inflation is a scary thing, bro. Oh, how much? Yeah. How much did you say David Beckham is worth? Four hundred. Four hundred and fifty million dollars. Messi. Messi. His yeah. current contract. His contract yeah. currently, not yeah. not his wealth, not his mm -hmm. net worth. Mm -hmm. Messi's current contract is worth five hundred and fifty-five million dollars. Cool. Oh shit. Shit. Soccer. So you talk about sports. That's the thing. You like sports. NBA seems like a lot to us North Americans. Soccer is the highest paid sport in the world. It's absurd. They get hundreds of millions of dollars per year. It's fucking mind blowing. Go ahead. But you know what? You know what takes over soccer as the highest paid athletes in in the world? Like you know who is the highest paid athlete in the world? Who? Floyd Mayweather. Uh, true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Floyd Mayweather. He's the oh, most, Floyd Mayweather. He's, yeah. So boxing I mean, takes obviously. because boxing is different than all the other uh, traditional sports because the soccer, hockey, baseball, all these motherfuckers have 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 contracts. Whereas See, boxing is just 
per fight. If you want I to think admit, th may I hop in really quick with the technicality? Mm. Go wine mom. The technicality is they're on salary versus Floyd is negotiating contracts. Continue. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But when I think of like sports, I think of like boxing or UFC, uh, like, yes, it's a sport, but I don't count it in the same category as other sports because sport. it can kind of go on whenever it wants where like there's seasons for other sports. Mm -hmm. Does that make yeah. sense? Because there's always yeah. like a fighting or a boxing match and like, yeah, there's always soccer, but it's different. Like there's always like a boxing or a UFC match like every other weekend. Saturday. No, it's Once every, every Saturday now. Yeah. 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 It's just got more attention, I guess. Same thing with soccer, though. That's the thing. It's just, it's just not got yeah. as much attention in our world, right? You've got a world That's what I mean. of soccer, right? Like, yeah. It's the most paid sport, but arguably it's more accessible than basketball because you go to England, right? Every single town has a professional team where you could viably make like $50,000 a year just playing soccer. That doesn't happen right. in North America, right? I can't be a, a pro athlete and make a living but not make millions of dollars. That's where soccer is unique because you're able to be in the middle ground of being a professional but not being a superstar, right? Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm completely wrong about my my number. Uh, who's uh, the chain in 2021 about who's the richest athlete in in the world? Who? LeBron oh. James is number one. Roger oh, Federer, uh, a tennis player, number two. Lyle Messi, number three. Tiger Woods, number four, and Floyd Mayweather, number five. May I oh, ask like, yeah. a journalist question? Is that over time or is that yearly? That's just for 2021, but I Jeez. appreciate over time is Floyd. Well, Floyd did take time off for a while, did he not? Yeah, but he, he was making money even during his, his time off. That's yeah, but making money versus making money is very yeah. different. Yeah, yes. but those Jake fights, bro, that that bag is literally, it's sad. It's very sad, but the Jake mm -hmm. bag is very equivalent to Floyd's like regular boxing bags. Yeah. So, like, as much as it seems like he made less, he probably made at least $50 million off of that fight. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, we can thank all the... Anyways, I'm going to um, get <laughs> Money! Yeah, yo, I feel you. But the one that, on that list, Raza, is Tiger. How's Tiger up there? What, did he win Tiger a championship? Woods, he's, still, he's still doing stuff. Yeah, I know Tiger he is, Woods but did he win this year? His net, well, his he's net worth is playing. $140 million. Anyways, he sucks. Thank you. And Thank then you. LeBron James, uh, he, he's a cheater, because... cheater, pumpkin eater. LeBron James is what? LeBron James. LeBron, LeBron James. James. LeBron James. <laughs> Welcome to the Vine quote <laughs> podcast. I, thought, I came up with Instagram. I, I, I LeBron James. LeBron, LeBron James. James. Literally LeBron. so LeBron. good. <laughs> Such a cute little dude. LeBron James, I know, yeah. No, the whole thing <laughs> saying LeBron James. LeBron James. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tiger Woods, this must have been from, like, that must be from his previous earnings because he did shit last year. Oh, yeah? Tiger Woods made $64,000 last year. Well, that's... <laughs> from playing golf. <laughs> I yeah, mean, playing literally the dumbest Saturday sport ever. For him. <laughs> All you do that in baseball. All you, all you do is stand around with your, with your dick in your hand and just fucking hit a ball with something. Yeah. I've seen motherfuckers puke on on a mound before. I'm like, how? Running. What are you doing? It's the running. Not, that's why. And like chewing the uh, what was the chewing tobacco? Tobacco, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I, remember, uh, I remember the trend when we were teenagers and all of a sudden all the guys like because in the group of friends that we hung out with, like everyone was doing chew and I was like y'all are so nasty. Ugh. This kid who I went to college with, he would always have a Gatorade bottle around him. I and hate it. Of it's so like, gross. What is that? Is, is that just, he always has that. Is, is that juice or something? I'm it's because like, no, it's, it's, it's the hockey yeah. bros because they do it while they got their helmet on, right? Right. They, they play Ugh. hockey and they chew on their fucking tobacco, bruh. They pack pack a lip before you do your fucking line, dog. Yeah, you like right there. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's just so weird, man. 
So, and, and they spit it out. Like, have you seen baseball players? They're like, we're going to hate on this, but baseball players, every time I see the World Series or something, they're, they're, they're unhealthy as fuck. They're like the most like, <laughs> they're like the most they're like out of shape. Guys running to first base looks like he's gonna have a heart attack, um, and stuff. It's just like Brutal. it's just like the most like I feel like they're all smokers. Every one of them is just smoking. <laughs> I don't have time. It might be. This didn't a, um. This is an ask and not a challenge, mm-hmm. right? Is baseball still that way? Because I haven't watched baseball as much in the past like fucking five years. I have I no don't. idea. Do you know what I I knew about ho- hockey players? They're like, you know how contracts work. Hockey players are in contract for at least ten years. I did not know that. I thought it's just like like yeah. basketball players, like four, well, cause, three, four years. Well, because they only ever like they're usually their careers are only ever ten years because they take so much physical abuse on the ice. Mm-hmm. Damn. So that's why yeah, they, they, yeah. So usually they'll contract them for that long, and then they they take turns and trade them. That makes sense. That, yeah. that sucks. Your yeah. average hockey player won't make it past ten years at all. Yeah. Same thing with like, football. Your average football player doesn't make I it past somebody, like six years. I'm pretty sure there's a hockey player that made it ten years. I'm gonna find out. Oh, there. Well, mm-hmm. the one it's uh Jaeger Yarmir Yar Yar. Obviously he's Russian. What's Obviously his name? he's Russian. <laughs> I'm gonna if find it's, out. If it's not Jaeger, it's a J. It's very fucking. Uh, Gretzky. Well, Gretzky did, yeah. Yeah, so well, did, did Jaeger. It is Jaeger. He because Jaeger's still playing and he's like almost fifty. But, yeah. Um, oh my god. It's very Wait, regular. Just Some people did go past ten years in hockey quite regularly, but it's another. Mm-hmm. They're having good segue. Same topic. Yeah. <laughs> the the awesome. evolution of sports. Uh, you bring up baseball yeah. and hockey are the coincidentally the white people sports are the ones yeah. where we're noticing this issue as a- athleticism increases. The old school way of playing is falling behind. So you're seeing what all of these so old hockey. Go oh, well because you know we're just playing baseball and I can have a big fat belly because like it's baseball, bro. But oh, versus okay. now they're like, oh, I gotta treat myself like LeBron now. Like I'm making these millions of dollars. I need to put a million dollars back into my body. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Um. Okay. okay. So I just double checked to make sure that I was right because I didn't want to say it when I wasn't right. But Ty Domi did 16 years. Oh shit! Yeah, and Taidomi oh, is I a beast. I love Taidomi. Yeah, is he? Right? I don't. I don't <laughs> like sport. I don't like sports, but I do like some Taidomi. Well, and Taidomi had to get kicked out because he fucking yes cracked that guy's skull on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. like again, going back to the same argument that, like, the same point that Bailey was saying about like how these sports players go for like, oh no, why mom was saying it about yeah. how they have to uh, go for the like for 10 years and like, yeah. that's they're giving their body for 10 years that's it like, basketball players like the, this is a high horse but basketball players don't necessarily what is going on with bailey over here he's like he's having a good time <laughs> a little bit of both laughed at okay. the same time <laughs> didn't work out okay uh basketball players like uh like fortunately they're able to like spend four years on team and then take time off yeah. And then come back in, 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 into the league. That's why, like, sport uh, basketball players average at like 45. I think Vince Carter, he just yeah. retired last year. He was 44, I think, 44 or 43. Yeah. And this guy can dunk like a 25 year old. He's like one of the best dunkers in the league. And he's dunking on kids half his age and stuff. So, mm. yeah. And, and it's like, it's cool seeing like, the older basketball players still play and then retire at the age. Like I'm noting, I'm noticing hockey play or yeah, hockey if football players retire much much earlier. Yeah. Uh, like Forty. Yeah. Well, because they usually suffer months. some form of brain damage. Yeah. 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 Like I, I I love how like I, I love the argument. Like okay, I know Bailey is a football man's here, but I'm gonna. Like, <laughs> no, no. I love the argument. Yeah, be like, yeah, you're spending, you're you're getting so much money, but then mm-hmm. you're gonna like not spend it because you're by the end of your career, 
the high chance you'll end up like, you know. Yeah, but they do it for their families. Yeah. Like a lot of these guys have huge families. So, okay. I don't know if this is true on the NFL side, but this is pretty, uh, this is actually an issue on the UFC. Uh, The, like, uh, there, because the UFC fighters are on contract, Dana White doesn't have to to give them health benefits. So oh, that's nice. when when they get their asses handed to them or they like retire and stuff, all that money, like I was statistically speaking, a lot of fighters spend a lot of their fortune on healthcare just mm-hmm. to make themselves not die at the age of fifty five and stuff. Yeah. And they end up going broke and stuff. And like this is a huge issue with like uh unionizing unionizing um the ufc but dana white is just well, like i so, want money so, football mm. is similar i will let wine mom go before i rant okay mm, no go ahead because football is very similar it's uh the contracts are very predatory in their clauses this happens with basketball as well and you see that happen with a lot of the bench characters however uh basketball they negotiated for guaranteed contracts. That's the difference yeah. that LeBron James and all yeah. these basketball players have. In football, yeah. it's clause based, and that's how they mm-hmm. fuck you to no beyond belief. Because yeah. it's you play five games, you get X amount of dollars. You play seven games, you get X amount of dollars. You play eight games, you get X amount <clears> of dollars. <throat> Oh, and then you get injured halfway through the season. Oh, we're just going to coincidentally sit you on the bench. Uh, oh, you didn't hit that five game mark. Oh, we're sorry. Here's 75K instead of the million dollars you were expecting. Yeah. Because, because yeah. you got hurt. So you didn't play the games you said you were going to in your contract. So fuck you. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's well, how they get you okay, in the so, NFL. So what did Tom Brady or someone like Tom Brady or Eli Man they be able to negotiate that out? No, only literally only someone at the height of Tom Brady, because otherwise oh, okay. nice. you've got the issue of okay basketball. It's a little more selective. You're more valuable because there's less players on the field when it comes to football. Mm. If let's say mm-hmm. I'm I'm the fucking 40th guy on the roster. I am not a superstar. I'm a nobody. I return kicks in the NFL. There's literally tens of thousands of people willing to take that job for the same amount of money. Yeah. So the club will just cut you gladly in an instant because they can get anyone to replace you. So there is no contract negotiation unless you are Tom Brady or unless you're a name that can make the news. You're not negotiating your contract in the NFL. Shit, okay. Well, and that's the thing that sucks about that kind of of sport because it's, there's so many guys on the team and there's so many players that like it's so easy for them to not matter. Mm-hmm. And I think like as a society we give sports players this like celebrity status, but they don't really get the same respect as celebrities as far as like when it comes to money unless they are a big hitter. The NCAA, oh, sorry, go on. I was going to say it's the gross addition to that as well, right? Like, it's not only that they don't get the same respect, it's that that's the only way they get respect, right? Yeah. Yeah. The uh, NCAA just passed, or it it was ruled against them that now uh, players can make money off of their, like, likeliness or sponsorships or brands because before... Because they're in college, right? And all of the schools were exploiting these college kids, and they were making free money off of them. But now, off the, of the sports games, yeah, off of the players, like the themselves. video games. Everything. No, 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 the actual, not just yeah, no, but yeah, yeah. but but, that, but you're yeah. telling me that these college kids who are paying to go to school, maybe they have scholarships, whatever. Your the school is profiting off of them. Okay, so here's yep. the thing. To play devil's advocate, it's low-key fair if they are giving them a scholarship to the school. However, not really fair that they can't claim rights on their own likeness in the future moving forward. Like, that's lifetime income. 
what happened last year was a drama because a kicker on a team in the NCAA, a kicker, mm-hmm. a dude who just kicks the ball in football. So he, he plays maybe 30 seconds of a football game. He made a YouTube channel and his university claimed all of the income from his YouTube channel because it was his likeliness what? that they owned. Yeah. No. Uh, so, what? Um, yeah, so that's a huge controversy because these kids, like, yeah, cool, they're giving them tuition, but their tuition is like forty thousand dollars. Meanwhile, they probably made a hundred thousand like dollars off of that yeah. individual kid playing football, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. based off of tickets, online sales, fuck, even his jersey sales on campus. Right, that's alone 50k and and the student athlete will never see a percentage of that and in canada it is illegal to receive any sort of financial compensation for your scholarship so in canada that is not even not only is it not even possible you cannot make money off of your talent as an amateur athlete (laughs) okay so what's the point What's the point? Yeah, getting a scholarship. Yeah, what's the point? (laughs) Well, and then what's the point as a canadian you're trying to breed better athletes Why would I go to a Canadian university to play sports if they're not willing to incentivize me financially? That literally makes so much sense because I I, I remember in high school, a a lot of the American colleges came to my high school and they would be like, come to our school. We'll give you a scholarship. You can make money, blah, blah. And and for the longest time, I was puzzled. Why don't they go here? It's cheaper. So then I realized, wait, they want to do this as a career and now they're going yeah. to a school that isn't giving them the money but as yeah. opposed to another school across the border that's literally paying them free money or uh, giving them a, uh what's the word a full ride and they're and you're able to make money after the, the fact so yeah i think and that's why we're if you're saying basketball we're seeing not that many canadian basketball players well well actually as of late there's getting a lot more now but I, I well on I the like same it's... same level same level and it's it's adding to your point not detracting is that's where basketball is more gross because you can get them straight from high school you don't have yeah. to go yeah. to college you don't have to go to college yeah 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 isn't that messed up imagine being what was it 18 18 you're like Lonzo Ball for example but see like not only that like me and bailey went to high school with a guy who did go to college for football and like they basically stripped him of his entire like life Mm -hmm. because he just he couldn't do it it was like school practice 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 school game practice school practice like he didn't have a life and now now i can understand why a lot of kids like only go so far because mm-hmm. like you you don't have a life. Like when I was mm-hmm. that age, I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted. <laughs> and these kids are like school training, school training, training, school. And like pointless training too on top of it. Like like what? So Raza go and then I've got a big big point oh, to sum it up. It's like I fucking So the I big laugh, big point of like you make something super critical, wine mom, right? Like these kids mm-hmm. lack social skills or understanding of how the real world works when you're thrown into making that much money that quick Mm -hmm. or like no one explained to you the economics of your talent. And that's the bigger Mm -hmm. social economic discussion because it's a bunch of white people taking advantage of a bunch of other ethnic minorities, talents in sports. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So how do you, make these schools responsible for teaching their athletes financial responsibility because that's ultimately the line that they will always stand on because okay whatever yeah we'll start paying marshawn lynch we'll start paying what's his name chris weber we'll start paying whoever but we don't have to guarantee that they know how they spend their money yeah they want them to be yeah yeah okay um i feel like like financial just, literacy is just as important as giving money, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's like I feel like the the schools kind of don't want them to to learn that. Mm-mm. So <laughs> we have them to the the schools have to like 
kick themselves in the, in the pants a little bit and stuff. We can say schools can teach them that, but the schools were like, no, we don't want it because then they'll rise up. Yeah. And so, yeah. It sucks. It's hard. It does. It's very, in this capitalist uh, society, it's very, yeah. uh, what's the word? Exploitative. Yeah. Because I mean, like, it's Go ahead. Just, that's where the topic gets racialized. Even if people don't intend it to be, that is where essentially it gets racialized because then you have these universities going into a place that may not be as economically affluent or maybe a hood. And you're saying, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, send me your kid. I'll give y'all a million dollars. Who's going to say no to that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I... Like, I <laughs> It's like I going knew, into the army too. Like, it's like yeah. the same thing. It's like let's well, go to these poor people's ha houses, yeah. and they have a very talented uh, child there. Let's, and they have a a full ride skull, and the parents are like looking at at that. Like, okay, we can actually not worry about taking uh, adapt to school now. They have the, the same exactly, yeah, thing. yeah. Yeah, I I knew a kid when I was younger and he was like a year or two older than us and his father and his mother worked him so hard, so hard. He was like, at fo everything was football. His entire life was football. There was no other conversation other than football. It was his life was like his diet was strict, his routine was strict. Where where he where he went, who he what, all of everything, just so that he could play professional football. Like he did eventually get there. He's no longer here anymore. But like so much of his life was just that was everything. And then you know, sadly he passed away. And it's like, I, how much of a life do you have when that's like that's that's it? Like you're a kid and your whole life is sports ball, and then. You know, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And in in no. in Pakistan and India, like, look at cricket. Cricket's a huge goddamn yeah. fucking like industry there. Like, I was watching, uh, the, I forget the show on, on Netflix. It's like a news show, and it, it's telling me how India controls the entire cricket market. So, like, you have to go through them in order to become a in order to become a player and they have a board and they control the entire board. They have all the teams in that board and mm -hmm. like, and, and now you're adding the, the political animosity towards Pakistan. They're like, no, you're not a part of this. They're going to, uh, you tend to your own, uh, own thing. So it's just like, like, like all these systems and all these like, like institutions are built there to protect their own interests and then so have, weird and then have their own like players like you know what happened like a couple of, like several years ago what happened with the whole fifa fraud scandal thing and stuff they were in buzzling money it was like a, a always been, yeah and, and stuff but it was actually like caught out now it's just like it's mm -hmm. Huge news, and it goes to show that they, they were taking money away from certain like resources and stuff, and putting them in, in, into their own thing. So it's just like these these sports institutions are like built to like you know treat the players as like commodities, like how yeah. they did back in the day, right? Like for like the uh, or like for Romans, they were gladiators. That's what they are. They're not. They're they're just. Things, their price tags, or their their fucking numbers. It's sick. To them. They're, they're not people, right? And that's what yeah. makes me kind of uh, bums me out a little bit about that. Yeah, sick. And then that's why when you tile it, tie tile it on. I guess that was the right word. When you tile it on with the fucking racism card of not applying financial literacy, it's very predatory. Like you're yeah. e even take out the North America part, take out the football part, take out take out like you go to soccer right even soccer you're it's still predatory because you're still looking at a young british man in a hood of whatever ireland you're still looking at a lo young white man who is impoverished who then didn't have the opportunity and so he's duped that that my best way to make it is to be a soccer player and you take that model yeah. that works on white people and let's ship that to north america and make millions of dollars right and it doesn't work everywhere yet. That's what mm -hmm. you know, 
And uh, yeah, so the, there's this huge like disconnect. Yeah, it's just like we aspire to be the like those sports stars, but without r- realizing what they are. Yeah, and it's so, kind yeah. of it's actually kind of creepy, and like we probably should have talked about organized sports in the cults episode that we did, because like, let's be <laughs> real, True. not far off. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was thinking yeah. about recently on that same note of the watching all of the Italians cheer when they don't track the Italian team all, team all year. Of mm-hmm. like, it's the Italian like clubs, very, yeah. soon. They're, they're, they're different clubs, and whatnot. Yeah, it ends up seeming like a cult like feeling, though, right? Like, like, yeah, how do they well, sports are is a cult essentially. Like, again, go back to Pac- India, Pakistan, they treat their fucking cricket stars like, like cult leaders stuff mm-hmm. and they put them on like literally they pray to them like they're gods this is yeah. like and it's trans that can be transferred onto every like people were praying to jesus if the leads could make it past the first round yeah and, yeah and work, but like yeah but like it does i, I well, literally did just so that much, two years ago too yeah yeah there's just so much money in it though because everybody wants to bet on shit yeah, and, and it's just like there's so much money to be made, and that's why sports ball is so successful. Sports ball yeah. always brings in the money. Yeah. There's, always, like, there's always betting to be made on the sports ball. Yeah, and then look at UFC. That's like a new monster on. So yeah, even there, but it's like take it's it's putting putting money back in Dana White's pockets and take them out of you know. I'm. Showing that I have no knowledge in UFC, which I don't, but like the base, like the one of the new f- f- fighters, whatever his name is, yeah. he gets like nothing. Dana White gets all of his earnings from his f- f- fight, and that guy get, gets like a fraction of what he's supposed to get, right? So there is, there is a need to make the f- f- fighters fight longer yeah. and harder to make that. Mill like freaking Lou William, who played for the Clippers, he has not made double digits yet. He's been playing who? for about Lou Williams. He plays for the LA Clippers, the basketball team. Uh, he hasn't made 10 million yet. And he's well, think about five, think about years. Shaq, right? Yeah, like yeah. there's nothing that Shaq has not done talent at this point because mm-hmm. it's like I because I I'm you know I love Shaq and I think he's funny but I'm curious as to like what his actual career like what his career in sports gave him because now mm-hmm. he does like commercials and movie and well, he, all he, funny he kinds of promotional the, stuff he yeah now, he does right? a lot of stuff now so it's mm-hmm. like technically he should be able to just like vibe i mean don't get me wrong Shaq never stopped doing commercials because I fucking love them but yeah. it's like i'm curious as to like what happened maybe and that's like he felt like he needed to continue his career after sports you, you need to ma- um, maintain that lifestyle right? yeah so he needs to like get exactly more, more, more money from that and he also owns a restaurant chain interesting yeah but, um and yeah. that's where i'll hold a lot of empathy for the athletes right is like no matter the sport even if it's a lazy sport even if it's baseball like mm-hmm. a shack would be as a professional used to going to practice at least once a day at least going yeah. to the gym and mm-hmm. you expect them to retire and just sit around and not work like <laughs> you know, you're gonna do something <laughs> That's why Shaq, yeah. so it's like, what is Shaq? Does Shaq becomes an ESPN reporter? And as tacky yeah. as it seems at first, you're like, oh, Shaq, of course Shaq's going to become an ESPN reporter. It's like, yo, at least that's all he knows. That keeps him invo- it's all he knows, yeah. yeah. All yeah. he knows. So at least yeah. let the man talk about the only thing that he knows. How to exactly, talk about. right? And like <laughs> every guy, like everybody who's in a sport, and they leave the sport, they come back into sport in a different capacity. Well, it's didn't, like, uh, right, because, like, didn't Don Cherry play hockey? Yep. In the NHL? Why? Like, oh, what? at hmm. some point? Don Cherry also owned the hockey team and still does in Raza's hometown. Yeah. Which yeah. one? The fucking Ice Dogs. Oh, really? He owns them? That's why they look like his dog? 
I, again, I'm not a big Don Cherry fan. Yes. Don, yes, Don Cherry owns the hockey team in Roz's hometown, which is called the oh. St. Catharines Ice Dogs, and is because oh, they're double, they're they're single A, like they're whatever the I forget how double hockey a? works. Double they're A, the, double they're, a. they're the double level a. before semi pro. That's well, thought, double A. That's double. I thought I don't know. I, thought, I don't know the hockey levels. I, thought, I forget the hockey. I thought, I I thought it was a. OHL and then. NHL. I it's, oh, it might be. Oh, it might. It might be. It might because be. Might be. The ice dogs. Are I the think it is OHL. OHL. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well then. Oh, well then. They're the, the first. They're the semi pro. The semi pro. If they're so, OHL, so they then, get paid. So, yeah. so then the next one is NHL. Right? Yeah. In the ranking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know what's uh, cool? Because that's that's oh. where I I bitch about I bitch about us not getting scholarships. We do actually have Canadian leagues that will pay you for intermediary. Hence that team. Sorry. Go. That's why you you, yeah. you don't have to go to those schools. You can just try out for these these teams, and they actually will pay you. And yeah. So cool. But the point is, it's like once you're if once you're a celebrity sports ball <clears throat> guy, your next option is to try and get into more sports stuff either commentary or yeah. refing or what i mean whatever they look into getting into it's kind of yeah. like that's your next choice owning a yeah, team yeah. buying into a team a, yeah. a, a <laughs> lot of um i don't know if this is true or not but there's a new trend in some basketball players getting they're doing their theses right uh, a lot of them are doing theses in like uh like 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 let's see, like uh nutrition uh, the health, which is that's all, good. Which is it's like, uh, like it's just like makes I sense. Who's, who's talking about? Because a lot of these players are now looking for, the, well, like alternative career plans after the NBA or during the NBA after if they want to retire. Well, probably because of COVID, because they haven't been able yeah. to play for a very long yeah. time, which means they were to pro the system was probably taking advantage of that and being like, we can't pay you because we're not making money. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's not. May I? May I hop in yeah. with the Bailey story? Yeah. That's where I was lucky with the examples I had in my life, because as far as I'm aware, if you were to try to enter the NFL, if you were going to like a a, 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 a university in the United States of America, they would tell you to not go to class. They would tell yeah. you to not oh. attend your educational purposes. I won't name names. But the professionals that were like directly training me in my sports told me mm -hmm. that's why they switched leagues. They told me they left the American schools because they didn't want them to attend the school part of their school. Huh. Yeah. They were huh. going to, I will not give the, this is the getting into serious shit. They were going to like a very notable American university and they said, Yo, you can play for us, but don't go to class. Or you, you get C, you get this, you get that. And yeah. they decided to go to a Canadian university so that they could actually get their education as they played sports. Yeah. yeah. It's kidding. actually, like, I know you're saying it isn't like it's a sneaky thing. It's it's actually a quite popular thing within football where it's like in America, they're just like, will you like the teachers will just give you so you just have to play sports. Like yeah. your classes are not important. Practice football. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, the football is very much like a cult over there. Oh yeah. It, well, it's, it's, it, well, well, it's also a, a, a culture. Like, like mm -hmm. it's like football is a very thing is basically a part of the American culture. Every Sunday you and your dad sit on the couch mm -hmm. and you watch Madden. If you did, what are you doing? What the fuck are you, are you doing? You, you, you go to the Super Bowl party you get drunk on monday nights knowing that you have to work the next day mm -hmm. that is what uh, nfl culture is essentially and it's like to p p p back on what bailey was saying i know that there's a college in the states that requires athletes to maintain a 75 percent or 80 percent average if they want to stay on the i think it's a basketball team or the Football team. I don't know mm -hmm. which one it is. And so, but there, I. So it's every. It's it's all across the the, the, the spectrum in America. There's half yeah, but you and, you know that the teachers don't care. Give enough. the marks. They have to yeah. give the marks. They don't have a choice. Did you guys like read the whole or not read, but like uh, see the whole like like rich 
parents were paying a lot of them. Oh, like, yeah. Did you watch the documentary on Netflix? I, I just discovered there was one like last weekend. I don't know if there was one. It's <laughs> wild. <laughs> So, so there, um, I can't remember the name. Okay. You know, the, you know, the show shameless, Yeah. Yes. you know, you know, yeah. the drunk dad in shameless. Yeah. yeah he's so in, his, his daughter. Is, yeah. yeah. So his daughter and his wife, yeah, they paid for their daughter to go to school yeah. and it was, um, I think her name is Lor is Lori Glofflin or Lori something, something like that. Yeah. And the daughter's name is Olivia. And like, mm -hmm. so the whole thing was that the parents paid for them to get into school. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be 100% accurate. So I apologize if my facts are not 100% accurate. Please watch the documentary on Netflix. Highly recommend. But so what happened is that um, the parents pay for her to go to school. And then she didn't want, so she didn't want to go to college. But her parents are like, you're going to college. We're paying to get you in. They use this French guy to, he had like a secret way to like, basically putting them on sports teams that they didn't even play for. So apparently this girl played water polo, never once got in the pool the entire time she attended the school. <laughs> but fun. she was a social media influencer. And so here she is getting this very expensive education that a lot of kids, basically like through a scholarship, like through a sports program, right? Parents are paying, but they're technically getting a scholarship through a sports program. And like tons of, you know children who were from not so great neighborhoods who were more challenged trying to get into the school could not get into the school because of this this scam that they were doing with celebrities there was multiple celebrities that were doing it it's very fucked yeah. very fucked and, and the but, guy got charged too yeah. yes but the craziest thing about it is that this french guy who was like the could like the the brain of the operation was so good at what he was doing that he was photoshopping these celebrity children into these fucking photos of them like playing sports and it's like like would like literally there was one part where he came to um like take photos of a kid in a water polo set like in his parents pool and like put that into like a professional photo to like get him into the school yeah, I've seen that one. I've seen that one, and there's a lacrosse one too, where they were sitting it's there. It's so their their face on. It's another level of fucked because so many kids lost the opportunity of education because of that, those like groups of people. Princeton, Yale, Harvard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all these like prestigious schools too. But people started to call her out because they were like, she would say how she doesn't go to school, she hates school, she's never there, she just wants to be a social media influencer because her parents are rich and famous, so why not? This is the next easy step. And like, she was like partying all the time and drinking, and people oh. were like, "This doesn't sound like this doesn't make sense. What's going it on?" Ended up as a a much bigger case about privilege because of that, because they did mm -hmm. get charged, but then the mother got like find or like a month in jail or something like that like yeah so they did get caught for it everything that you just outlined that was fucked yeah but then the punishment was like a month in prison which like it doesn't even matter though because the kid still is on youtube trying to make money that way and it's like for me it's like i understand it's not so much olivia's fault because her parents forced her to go to school whatever but, like, if you are privileged enough to have access to that education, I think any of us in this room, if we were privileged enough to have access to education that high, would not fuck around. Like, you know, it's an opportunity to, like, have something tangible. Like, you could still work on your career as a social media influencer while at least attending class. <laughs> like, yeah. at least it's, try. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's just like the the privilege. Like she she knows it's like there's like a golden yeah. parachute waiting for her at the end of it. So it doesn't well, matter. and then she went on Red Table Talk, and that was just a bunch of bullshit. You know what Red Table Talk is, right? Yeah, it's oh, okay. uh, Will Smith's wife's show with her mom. Will Smith's wife's show with her mom. Yeah, Jada Pickett Smith and her mom have a show on Facebook. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah. What's Jada Pinkett Smith's mom's name? That was the one where oh, I they know. had his dating talk where they exposed all the shit. That was her show called The Red Table Talk. 
Oh, yeah. that's where it's from. Okay, that, that's kind of funny. It's actually a pretty good show. I like it. I'll check it out. I know she has, that. um, those she had a one up thing. Yeah, she had Willow on when they did that episode, and the mom, and the mom went really hard. She she went really hard. She was not easy on her, but um, I think Willow is actually quite profound for how young she is. She's got a good head on her shoulder, so it's it's a good it's it's a pretty interesting show to watch. But again, for me, it's on a case to case basis. It really depends on who they're interviewing and like what it's about. But okay. I enjoyed that interview with Olivia. But yeah, it's messed up that 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 was just something that just ca- casually happened like no problem sure donate to the school and we'll get your daughter in yeah donate donate, donate yeah. to my bag account yeah yeah exactly. essentially yeah it's yeah it's like uh like i like when that whole thing happened i was like this obviously it happens to these other people but it's so dumb mm-hmm. this like <laughs> there's like a paper trail I was like, <laughs> what are you doing you're the mm-hmm. richest. Well, you're 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 well known. So cel- well, okay, you're somewhat well known cel- celebrity. So when this will happen, you know there's going to be a fallout. Well, like you have a celebrity thing. child in a like kids know celebrity children. Like my cousin knows all these kids, like all these celebrities' kids, and I'm like, I don't even know their names. Like, how do you know? And they're like, my these kids are my age, and and my cousins like. 16 and she knows them all so it's like you think if she wasn't attending school with them like they wouldn't have known and then eventually people would notice like oh she's supposed to be on the sports team but she's never here yeah that's weird exactly. and then like the only time she felt like i sorry some sort of like apathy was because like she she lost not apathy but empathy she she, she lost uh, a brand yeah, she lost a bunch of brand deals, and then she was yeah. like, "I'm so sorry." Yeah, that's what when it gets hit her. Yeah, not the fact that she, not the fact that her parents were getting arrested and going to prison because you went to school illegally, but illegally you lost that brand deal. You, yeah, like from one of the yeah, it's, just, it's kind of like yeah. you're you're not actually mad; you're just upset that you're losing money. Yeah. No, for real, for real, for real. Sorry, I cleared my throat there, not as a douche bag. I, I, that was a legitimate clear throat. Um, <laughs> we continue um, from there in a positive way. Is I know you guys don't know much about it, but have you seen Naomi in uh, tennis? There, Naomi killing her shit. Um. Yeah. One of my friends keep on. Her last name starts with a K, right? Yes, that's that's literally the only reason I didn't say that last name because I am not one hundred percent sure it is. Um. One yeah. second. Naomi tennis star. She beat um Teresa, didn't she? Or Teresa Osaka. Naomi Osaka. Osaka, Osaka. yeah. Naomi yeah. Osaka is one of the best tennis players, or not? Nay, nay, the best tennis player in the. Well, she beat Serena Williams, right? Yeah, that yeah. is why well, she's one of the best. She's like I. I mean, I she's. Yeah. Say, say. I think. I think it's also like. Serena is older now. Not to discredit Serena because she's still Did an she amazing know? player, but she's older now. She's a child, you know. Like her husband thinks, is a very cool guy. If you see, he's him, a very cool guy. Yeah. If you he's ever the like CEO talk, of Reddit. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. He's the CEO of Reddit. Bailey, fact check me. Uh, the the uh, Serena's husband. Yeah. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Serena's but husband is the CEO of Reddit, and then Naomi's boyfriend is um, fucking Corday, YBN Corday. Yeah. But so to be fair, she is older now with a kid, and like, I think that getting to the point where she's like thinking about not playing sports anymore. And also, Naomi is significantly younger. She's got more energy, more vibe, you know, more vibrancy to her. So. But yeah, even yeah. though she beat Serena, like Serena really responded very well to it, which I think is amazing to see that maturity in yeah. sports like that was really good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no. Yeah, um, I think she will be the best tennis player of her time because Serena deserves her respect in her own right. Serena and Venus both revolutionized yes. sports in a million different ways, and they deserve a hundred credits for it. And that's not just me be yeah. trying to be super PC of like, legitimately, 
Those were well, two black women like walking mm-hmm. into a sport that was kids dominated failing. by exactly kids. They were kids. two black kids in the nineties too, right? This is mm-hmm. again, that's why I think they deserve so much credit because we sit there in the two thousands going, the world's so progressive. Like yeah. literally fifteen years ago, shit was so mm-hmm. much worse. And those two fucking humans walked mm-hmm. into that and not only changed the perception of that sport as a whole, but changed the perception of that whole audience that would have been yeah. watching that based on yeah. who can participate and how they can participate. Those two mm-hmm. women made the lane for yes. Naomi. A lot of the yeah, athletes tennis. in tennis that are star athletes are black mm-hmm. and came from mm-hmm. Canada or came from mm-hmm. North America mm-hmm. without yeah. arguably without Serena and Venus making the triumphs that they made. <clears throat> yeah. That that lane would have been progressed. Yeah. And also you're shattering the standards of like a colonial sport. That's my last rant is because now the things are like their clothing stereotypes. Mm-hmm. And, and fucking Venus is still sitting there fighting that to this day. So yeah, you know, that's, that's my well, uh, and Bailey also you have to down for a pun. He missed a very good. He could have called their entrance with a grand slam, but he missed it. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, no, but I think like you also have to give their father some credit because mm-hmm. he did not waver on those girls, and he did not yeah. allow any room for it. Like, there's a very well known interview with Serena. And they were like asking her, how do you know you're going to be the best? He stepped in and he was like, you realize this is a child that you're speaking to this way. Anyways, <laughs> that interview is really good and should be watched mostly because when father stepped in and was like, try me, white man. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's so jokes because like seeing what's his name? LeVar Ball just be like, my kids are going to win a fucking NBA championship at the age of yeah. 20. And yeah. they're like, what are you going to do with that? Yeah. Just calm down. <laughs> That's why I have respect for Serena Williams Ed, because he understood what the world is like. Yeah. The bar ball is just like, my kids, I have tunnel vision. Yeah. Championship. Mm-hmm. He, under- he understood the assignment, yeah. though, for sure. Yeah. The bar no, ball did. understands nothing. That dad knew 110%. I admire that strongly, and I think that's an undertold story in the media. Yeah. The dad, that Definitely. whole family, that's something that should be made into a movie. How much they fought for that shit? Because those two sisters fought for respect as athletes. And now mm-hmm. not only are they hold, held as figureheads, purposely, you'll notice that tennis media, whenever you talk about tennis stars, they will not identify how they change the sport, both fashionably and mm-hmm. as athletes who weren't white. Whenever Mm -hmm. you realize tennis media, you look back pre them, so many things shifted. You wouldn't have even had a Maria Sharapova being a sex star as a tennis athlete without them. Mm Because Maria Sharapova was only able to wear the outfits that she wore because Serena and stuff pushed and challenged how you should define a female athlete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So One that's of the things like, that, yeah. it, it, uh, fucking no, sorry. absolutely. They, yeah. they they blew away gender norms and and style stereotypes, and then it's completely under neglected as sports as a whole, not just tennis. But done. Sorry, that's a whole yeah. high horse I have on my own. It was even it was even earlier than like I remember watching this movie called Battle of the Sexes. Right, I'm sure you guys heard heard of it. It's got no Emma Stone. It's based on a true story. It's got Emma Stone. And Steve Carell, and they're both tennis players, and they're both have like it's a. I don't know if, if it's happened again, but it's a male and f- female, uh, uh, like a tennis match. It's like uh, it's supposed to be like Steve Carell's character, the, the guy who Steve Carell is playing. He, he he like egging her on, like men are the best tennis players in the world. And then she's just like, no, I am the, like, because at the, when she was, uh, during her time, she was, I forget her name, but she was uh, the best tennis player of of the women's. And, and then she uh, went up against him. And then the whole movie is about how she got super, I, I forget how it ended, but like she, she got super close to beating him and stuff. But yeah, so. mm. Because my family is Scottish tennis nerds, I can summarize the story quickly. So it was something, mm. something Murray, 
I forget the I forget both the athletes' names. It was Same a stereotypically name. Scottish name on the male's behalf. He was mm-hmm. the Wimbledon. He was the Wimbledon star, and a female athlete who was like a female tennis star hopped in and be like, "Yo, I could beat the guy who just won the Wimbledon Open." So they went, "I right, bet, let's go." All right. So then they went at a tennis competition. The whole world was watching. Yeah. But the 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 thing is, when they did that shit, um, it was arguably rigged for him to win. Um. Oh. At the same time, this tennis this this tennis star that was a female athlete came exceptionally close to beating him. So it was a yeah. big old dealio. Yeah. But even then, if I may just add my PC note, my only thing is bringing that note up uh, after Serena and Venus is like, still, that woman was an extremely fucking privileged white athlete. Like, yeah. no one else would have been able to get the platform to challenge a tennis star of that scale if they were not already a wealthy white woman. Yeah. But I'm, wow. I, I was just saying it started there. Mm-hmm. It started. I don't think it started there, personally. I would highly disagree I mean, with that. But I think like, it's important for was- women to take a stand, no matter of your privilege, because at least it opens a door. Like it starts a conversation and stuff. Yeah. Which I would agree, which is where I say it's very difficult and incorrect of us to say as like two dudes sitting here saying it started with mm-hmm. this woman challenging one man to tennis. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the thing I can't believe missing, can't believe we haven't talked about this, is the pay disparity between men and yeah. women thing. I can't believe we're not talking about that because that... I'm coming from a basketball perspective. I know the WNBA is fighting for uh, to get their uh, players to be paid more, which I'm on on board with. Freaking the floor sweepers make more money than the top WNBA players, and that's like, and mm. the NBA puts itself as the most progressive sport out there, most forward-thinking sport. Meanwhile, they have a whole organization that's underpaid. I'll let one go tough. first and then I have my whole I've got a Bailey rant, but that's okay. Mm, no, I don't have one. You're good. Because originally I was the toxic boy. Originally I was the one that all the people who see this on YouTube once we're famous one day, all the toxic mans who watch Joe Rogan who say, oh, well, the woman's sport, it just doesn't pay as much because they're not as good athletes, right? <sighs> right that's oh i had that opinion before of like and i'll own up to that i'm i'm okay with admitting that i had talked well before i think I, that's called being a teen in sports and it's taught exactly. to you yeah but as i've learned as i've grown it's like as you see this um they're not investing the same amount of effort they're not investing the same amount of money I, the the Venus and Serena Williams are literally the prime example of that, right? Mm-hmm. Those are two yeah. athletes that their father took the same amount of care and time into promoting them to be star athletes, regardless of their gender, regardless of their race, and regardless of their socioeconomic position. And they both mm-hmm. rose to be stars of that sport. Michael mm-hmm. Jordan sat there and was told he would never be a professional in his sport. And his father and his family took the time to give him the potential that he would become that. And I think that same logic applies to that same situation. When you're taking the WNBA, when you're taking women's sports, because we have historically been a misogynistic society, simply due to the fact that we have not put the same attention and effort into caring about it those mm-hmm. athletes have not been able to rise to the potential that they could. Right. So it, it's just like the amount of like how, like it's just like the investment going into the sport. Like there has to be, Oh yeah, I, I agree. I, I hate using happening. the word money investment and investment, yeah. but the, it literally, it does come down to it, that. It comes down it to is money that. and time. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. they, it was the WNBA championships when the Orlando bubble was happening, right? That was a, a new mm-hmm. story that made the rounds. The Orlando mm-hmm. bubble happened. All of the NBA athletes had their own individual gyms per team, and they were allowed to leave the hotel to attend the individual gyms that their team had allocated. The WNBA, they had, had a half one, a gym. 
No, they had one weight room for the entire WNBA. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that, yeah. What? It was, yeah. Yes. They had yes. one weight room the for the entire WNBA during the playoffs mm -hmm. in Orlando last year during the bubble. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that was the star example of how do you equate these athletes as being treated fairly when you expect... You're going like, oh, it's fair. we got to separate the dudes because, you know, they're going to fight with each other because they're on opposite teams. But, you know, <laughs> go, just get, you're a woman. You're on opposite teams. You'll get along. Like, no, that's fucked. <laughs> you can't do that shit. <laughs> it's so yeah. weird. Like, like, and like, it's, it, it's like the comments I see on, on like Instagram and stuff. Like, I could school these women in basketball. And I'm thinking, yeah, try doing a three pointer. I doubt you can do a three pointer under pressure and stuff. I doubt that. Right. So, mm -hmm. like, it's just, there's this, like, like this weird animosity towards women and sports balls, sports ball and stuff. Uh, which is, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, the reason uh, is because men are threatened by women who threaten that's true. masculinity. Don't think about Walk that. Why? Don't think about that one. Yeah. <laughs> the I don't know how to summarize it more. I that's pretty much that's what it is. If if the masculinity is threatened, then suddenly the woman is problem. Yeah. yeah. See, see, like I. I and that says something. That mind didn't come to my head, like, or that thought didn't come to to my my mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't come to my my mind because I guess I'm secure enough to say, "Hey, these women are athletes. Pay them." Yeah. Rock Literally. Them. Yeah. That's. I'm stuff. not trying to stroke your ego, Raza, but that is the issue because a lot of people don't see things in such a level-headed perspective that will often glaze over these things because a lot of people are that prejudiced to the point that they look at a woman and think they're less capable or look at a mm -hmm. human who has a descriptor that doesn't match theirs and think that they cannot achieve the same things that they do. Yeah, because it's like sports. For the longest time, we thought sports are for boys. Sports are a boys thing. You get yeah. dirty and stuff. Girls don't do that. Girls don't want that, right? But then... Once you have this, this narrative like okay now girls like women enjoy playing hockey, they enjoy playing basketball, mm -hmm. in their head they're like, oops, this is gonna ruin the entire sport. This is gonna like change the entire sport to their standards now. And now have to play exactly to like yeah. this whole like oh we don't want to bring our standards down to meet what women do. It's like a lot yeah. of women in sports are beating the standards of men. So like. Yeah. whatever feel how you feel but it's like it's, for me as a kid like i remember our like my grade eight teacher he was like everyone plays sports he was obsessed with rugby and he was like all of you are playing rugby i don't care everybody's learning how to play rugby you're dying today kid. yeah yeah and he never he never separated us as far as gender he was just like we're all playing rugby all of you are learning how to play this sport yeah. I don't care. And for me, like, <laughs> I like sports. Like, I, you know, I yeah. played I played rugby and basketball and football with the guys because that's who I hung out with. So, mm -hmm. you know, I never had that, like, thought of, like, the gender not being equal and that being an issue with sports until I got to high school. And I was like, oh, so they have, like, separate team for women in the school. Like, there was a women's soccer and men's soccer and whatever and i was like oh, okay and even like some sports there wasn't even an option for girls like there was volleyball because girls can play volleyball but that's mm -hmm. it <laughs> like I my, my school like for like a year had co-ed sports and then they were like nope yeah the, the boys like, are doing too much damage correct me if i'm wrong bailey yeah sorry go yeah no i was just gonna say correct me if i'm wrong but like what sports did we even have at school that we were didn't... also women's sports we didn't really have much. We had the uh, people were protesting the football team. You were willing to participate in that, and there was other people taking that up. And then mm -hmm. even the female rugby team we had at our high school, they had to coordinate as a team and then beg the yeah. physics teacher to be their coach because the physics yeah. teacher was the only male willing to listen to them be a female team. Yes. Jesus it was messed up. It was real messed up. Like I'm... we had a, they had a hockey team that was like a bus that was paid to take them to games. Now, to be fair, the teachers that did coordinate that did really take on the, the 
brunt of that but there was no female option for that and we had a girl who played competitive hockey in our school like outside of school so it's like there was options like there were students that were interested in it but they didn't give them the opportunity or the option Mm. to be a part of these things that's that's yeah and then going like like remember when what was it uh, team, uh, the women's team USA, the soccer team USA won the world, like the the World Cup or whatever. The women's like a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. like last year or some shit. Yeah, the yeah. amount of trash talk and the men, the wet, like Canadian American men were going on, like, like yeah, I can I can do what they're doing. It's women's uh, soccer. It doesn't really matter. And I'm thinking they won a championship in the world and you still cannot give them like a, a round of applause you have to bring your own massage into this you're like yeah i, I can do this this is a boy right. like, yeah yeah great good for you but are, are you winning these trophies your name is darren mm-hmm. sorry I that was that came. But what is it? Yeah. No, it's no, the truth the, though the darren point is important to make rosa the darren point is something everyone's fallen for well, and not mm-hmm. everyone. No, okay. That is me being biased. The Darren point is something that <clears> is <throat> easily susceptible if you're uh, brung up in the wrong environment. And it happened yeah. to me as well. And that's where my bias just came in in that statement because it happened to me. I had the Darren <laughs> argument and I had to learn that the Darren argument is just because you didn't invest enough time into believing that the other humans could be as successful as your gender, literally. Yeah. Right. In the, in the, it's true. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like there's no, it's like an, un, I guess it's an unwritten un- code that sports are for men. And yeah. what happens you play at, I guess. Yeah. That's news to me. It's true. I mean, unless, <laughs> unless you're like me who had very, very masculine male dominated figure, like they were very masculine in their, in their, stature stature i guess mm-hmm. stature and so because of that i was very influenced as far as like man things you know quote mm-hmm. unquote man things so for me i never seen it as a gender thing like my dad rode dirt bikes as a kid and he was like do you want to ride a dirt bike and i was like i'd maybe like to try <laughs> it's like you know like it was never it was never oh you're a girl you can't do it, it was never that it was like mm-hmm. oh yeah sure because my my you know male figures were so they were so much like boys Mm -hmm. so it was like wasn't an option and and the other side of like like putting women like i I remember like every saturday on the family channel there was always a disney plus or disney kids movie based on like a a man a a man only sport and a and a woman trying to be in it. So I remember the last okay. one I saw was like an X Games mm-hmm. one. It's like trying to, and I'm thinking this stuff doesn't like it would be more natural. Like, but she's just like the girl is like wearing, like again, it's like I the, the intent was there, but the execution was missed okay. completely. Airballed it. She has this like dark pink dirt bike. Uh, with a neon green dirt You're talking about the Disney movie? Yeah. yeah I, I've, I've seen I this. Like what it's called. Yeah. And I can't remember like, what it's called, but yeah. They're, they're, they're shoehorning in the fact yeah. that it's a it's a, it's a a woman and, and she's playing in a, or she's riding in a, mm-hmm. in a, in a male dirt bike and thing. When, and I'm thinking, why, do, why, why does it have to be a pink dirt bike? Why can't it be like a... Why does it have to be like that color of a dirt bike? Can can she be one that's more natural? Can she just do some? Can she just naturally put her into the sport rather than like it's a woman's? Let's bring down the patriarchy in, in X Games, and I'm thinking, or the matriarchy and I have X Games, and I'm thinking, yeah, that's not how you do it. That's like you have to have a civil conversation about this. Yeah, but I mean, think about even just something so simple as like video games. Mm-hmm. Video yeah. games video games is not a sport that requires any sort of physical anything. It's all about coordination and like practice. But for some reason it's a male dominated industry and like the second a girl's like, you know, for instance a girl's like, "I like Zelda." And then a guy's like, "Name all the games." It's like, "Okay. <laughs> Name all the characters. Did you know that Zelda is the princess and Link is the warrior?" Yeah. It's like, "Okay, yes. Hello. I like the game. I know yeah. you're asking me." 
They're like like one of my my friends. Like she's like a a game animator and stuff, and she loves like they're always telling me go play Pokemon, go play mm-hmm. some shit like that. And I'm just like, I can do your work better than you. Stop telling me to play something that I don't want to play. Oh but, god. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's just like Nobody. yeah, like it's. Well, I was going to say, I think what you're saying there is fair, so don't feel misogynistic, because that's you not understanding the value differences. But I've been still no, trying she's to... she's talk- saying this. I'm, like, quoting her. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Fair, fair distinction like to she's make. She's telling you to go and play. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah. No, they're telling her to go and play that. That's her. Oh, game. the guy said that to her. Yeah. The guy said to her. Yeah. The yeah. guy? The no, the guy told Literally. her to play Pokemon. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. That's fucked. I mean, That's fucked. No. That's not okay. I, but this, yeah. but this happens though, Bailey. Like, I've played COD on PC for quite quite a long time in and out. I mean, I'm definitely not a super COD fan, but I've played it, mm-hmm. and um counter-strike and all those games and anytime i've ever been in a chat room they're like oh it's a girl and like they'll gang up on you and try and kill you off just because they don't mm-hmm. want to give you the opportunity to, to better them and it's it's a it's a thing like multiple times i've been like kicked out of chat room like kicked out of games and like like ganged up on purposely just so that i can't play so th- i had to stop playing with a voice because it's like if i do i'm gonna get kicked out yeah yeah. That sucks. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then the yeah. other side of it, the the the, the one who was like, "Oh, you're a girl. Let me, you know, give you everything." Yeah. And I hear yeah. that shit all the time. It's like you're coming off as creepy and stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. So being a girl online, actually, uh, completely, it's, completely, it's hard. It's hard. hard. But it's but it's like it's it's in a weird, it's weird because it's so misogynistic. Because it's it's yes. like cool, great. It's nice to be treated kindly, but it's like the times when you were treated horribly. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It's few and far between. Yeah, but there is like a silver lining though. But just like I was reading PlayStation Player specifically. Yeah, a lot more females are or like women are playing it now because there's more game centered. Like they like that system more because mm-hmm. there are more for some reason JRPGs. For some reason, that's the most popular one. Uh, RPGs? JRPGs. Like yeah. the one, JRPGs? JR, JRPGs. For some reason, um, it's popular amongst that demographic, which is kind of cool. But mm. yeah. a JRPG is like Final Fantasy. Fantasy, or, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Golden I was Sun. confused for a second, yeah. yeah. JRPG is where it's, it's the, you walk around on a big map and get into... Uh, tiny battles is oh weird. yes yeah yeah okay that, and they and it's like for that demographic like wow and stuff yeah. yeah well wow is more of a well jrpg means the japanese are yeah. rpg oh wow, okay or, i got you wow, but wow, same wow. concept i get you yeah. yeah 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 but again yeah it's weird i look at that then why aren't they playing wow why are they playing mm. wow? I mean, like, Let's see. but then you have to look, look at the yeah the, the aesthetic that's, of it. So, that's yeah. where not even a 2021 high horse of gender norms and all that of like mm-hmm. that's where I think a, a gender bias has been implemented on the modern gaming platforms. Because yes. I think they have neglected at that now that gaming is more accessible. That now you don't have to be a Chad who plays COD on your Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. That yeah. I I think a lot of these companies didn't account for that. Now many other humans would gladly get into gaming accessible. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like I've been playing video games since like the mid 90s. Like I literally like I spent every weekend playing video games. I used to go over to my friend's house. We would bring the TV outside. His mom would set us up outside with the TV and we would play GameCube for hours. Street Fighter, like whatever. We did we I did all that stuff. And it's like to be discredited as a gamer, people are like, well, you're just a girl gamer. It's like, okay, cool. I play video games because I like them and it's nothing to do with like being a girl gamer. Like I hate that moniker too. Like I I guess like, I'm a I'm gamer a girl. Like yeah, I hate that because no. it's like at, at that like, point, <laughs> once you say you're a gamer girl, you're like, now, mm-hmm. st- oops, segregating and stuff. Yeah, you're like, you're like there's a division now, and it yeah. like, just drives me up up the wall. But like, why are you 
saying yeah she's a gamer girl she's a fucking gamer but yeah. again i'm a guy i don't understand that. well we're not gamer girls we're e-girls that's okay yeah. can i ask you okay yeah. all right same talk, same talk as no sorry this is getting me super cheese this weekend i knew he was thinking about it because yes, yeah. the e-girls was driving me nuts this weekend i felt so bad mm-hmm. on the same talk as professional athletes actually yeah. perfect segue because that's where it originated these athletes mm-hmm. get paid and fetishized to be really good yeah. at shooting a ball in a hoop like mm-hmm. this dude is fetishized at this really good activity that he can do over and over on repeat but yeah. meanwhile <laughs> a woman who's really good at that on the computer has to become a sexual fetish. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. are you like, in I context not, with? Because in context, yeah. I was thinking, I won't name names because other big names, but I was watching like, there's a certain influencer me and Raza have been paying attention to based on our career trajectory. Uh-huh. Who, who okay. is a video game streamer who works uh-huh. for a certain big magazine and streams a shooting video game that we stream regularly. Uh-huh. Yeah. She will stream her video game content, but when it comes to her Instagram, then she's only like posting sexual photographs. Mm-hmm. And she's only posting like stuff of like after the gym, look at my buttocks. I feel so fit. It's like, I feel so bad for you because like, this is like, you, I, this clearly isn't your choice. You're clearly like, oh, this is the most mm. successful method. I give the video yeah. game content to the company that pays me. I post the workout <laughs> photo on personal page to gain more follows. And it's like, yeah. I feel so bad for you that this is what your career has like devolved to because the world yeah. sucks. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like treating it's yourself hard. as like, like, a, like your yeah. commodity. Your commodity. Yeah, 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 your yeah. Intellectual yeah. property has to be sold yeah. to someone else, and simply because you're a woman, your personal content now has to be solely about your body. Yeah. So we're not doing that. We're not going to become commodities, Bailey. We're, we're not going to become titty streamers. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no like but I mean, like the, re- the thing though is like. To be fair, like a lot of women enjoy career path of like being able to play games and then also sexual content. And if that's your if that's your jam, that's your jam, right? But what I have a problem with is like, you know, I have friends who are streamers who are great personalities. They stream and play video games and they're so fun and they're great. But there's always that crowd of people that watch their content and go, You woman give booby? And it's like, No, I don't give booby. It's and like, they, they, what I'm starting to notice, especially like in my gaming community, which I am slowly distancing myself from, yeah. is that they're expecting like the a girl, like a girl gamer, to have either an OnlyFans account or some sort of like adult yeah. content. So Dude, adult, that's expected. Regular, um, regular basis. If I, yeah, regular basis, I'm asked if I have an OnlyFans. Where if I have like a place where I sell photos and I'm like, I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, like yes. it's just, it's weird. Yeah. Sorry, Billy. No, I don't even have a big high horse rant of just even that flip of like, that's the most basic thing for anyone. Yeah. Of like, how often yeah. do you ask a man, do you have an OnlyFans account? Never. Never mm-hmm. once. Not once. You know, ever. Yeah, no, no, yeah. not once. Yeah. But they advertise it. So, well, you know, so I, I find kind of humorous that dudes are, are well, not humorous, but I find like kind of like jokes that a lot of my guys, the people I look Successful, up to, though. Successful, are, though. Successful, who are on, like, this guy named, I'll, I'll just say his name, Muhammad. He's like a born again Muslim and he has only <laughs> bad nice. accounts and stuff like that. And he's just like, he, this get motherfucker, he's just like, work, he puts six pack. A pack or whatever on Tinder or on OnlyFans. It's like, I'll sell this for ten bucks if you if you say free Palestine. If you say that, say that. Yeah. With me, I'll give you ten dollar discount for free Palestine. 
Yeah. (laughs) It's just wild how internet culture, like, because when the internet first came out, we all knew it was obviously going to revolve around sex because anything that is anything that's going to make money or sell is going to revolve around sex. But I think Mm -hmm. it's crazy now to see where we are in the future where it's like the internet is solely run by gaming and sex. Like legitimately, like you could say, oh, well, stuff but it's like what all goes with social media gaming and sex like it, it, the internet is overrun with that now the tough it's part, wild the tough part is because that's literally like it bleeds it leads it's how yeah. journalism has always worked yeah there needs to be violence there needs to mm-hmm. be sex mm-hmm. <laughs> there needs to be Something that is dramatic to the point of social dissolution. Yeah. Right. I, mm-hmm. There, there is no matter what form of media we're consuming, and it is always going to be the same. And if anything, that's where the conversation gets super meta and philosophical in a not fun way. No. It's yeah. It's just like, uh, like people love to see. Like, okay, it's, no, my point is, like, that's what they use to say video games are bad. And they show, like, this stuff. They show the gore, the sex. The, yeah. Well, they say, video games are bad. Little do they know so, some of the best-selling games in history don't even use those three things. Animal right? Crossing? Animal Crossing came to mind, yeah. One yeah. Of the, that's Minecraft? one of the best. Minecraft, uh, Minesweeper. Fucking solitaire, solitaire Tetris, Tetris, uh, mm-hmm. Tetris, uh, the fucking the farm bill. That's the other one. That's the, <laughs> the, the, he's <laughs> right though. That's those true. Those type of games yeah. mm-hmm. make it. Those are the popular ones. But it's so yeah. jokes that the microscope, like the t- microscope, is on. The Call of Duties, the Battlefields, the Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. But it's it, the but the reason why is that those are in focus the biggest yeah. communities. And yeah. and they have the most polarizing figures in those communities. That's why. Because you think yeah. about that like GTA role play that goes on on Twitch. Like a lot mm-hmm. of the guys that do that, I mean there's some of them that are cool, great guys, whatever you're vibing doing your thing, and then there's some guys that you're just like no, Bruh, that like, had, if, Fuck Aiden Ross. I'm saying it off top. I don't give a shit. I'll say it on yeah. podcast. Fuck Aiden Ross. It's just like <laughs> some of these guys, they be, do- I shouldn't just principle. say guys, but some of these people <laughs> in those groups, like they, they really do just be doing stuff that you're just like, oh, really yeah. Don't do that because you're making a negative thing here. Oh, I know who this guy is. All right. That's, I, I've seen this guy before. Okay, because he's a, he gay baits. Yeah. He gay baits. He, he gay yeah, he baits. Does. And then he does some flip grotesque gay baits because he gay baits for the humor. And then he gay baits for the clicks because he knows that the, the, the other community that watches him is so homophobic. They're going to watch the clip. It, you said Aiden disgusting. Ross? Yeah. 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 I he's fucking hate Aiden Ross. Yeah. Aiden Ross, yo, you a T channel nerd? You need to watch. Aiden Ross is the one con- like corrupting the youth right now because this man's is like he's a GTA role player who uh, he plays with T Grizzly and a bunch of rappers who actually do GTA role play, and he was just some normal ass white kid. All of a sudden, coincidentally, he gets on his GTA role play server. The man's shaved his head and he's got fucking slits in his eyebrows and all this shit. This well. man's fronting on the first start. And then, so he gay baits all this gay humor. And this man then, like, basically fronts on being part of a culture that he's not because he's literally just on the computer playing GTA, yeah. pretending like he's hard. And it's like, oh, so now you're a celebrity for being a, a, a fake drug dealer online? Like, I'm super confused at why people yeah. think you're hard in the first place. Mm-hmm. And, like, he does all this, like, this, like, edge shit. It's, like, almost in the N-word in front of the face. Uh, the thing thing. is, like, but it works. That's the thing is, like, it works, though, in that community. That's the problem. Yeah. people, And that's that why, shit, yeah. that's why old white people are, like, it's the video games because that kind of culture goes on online and it's like yeah we can all sit here and say well i'm not a part of 
culture because i am sure as fuck not a part of that culture i don't appreciate that like that's not what i play video games for but i know friends that like watch these this type of content and they think that it's like golden i'm like it's kind of trash but you know and but that's what keeps these going they have viewers yeah and it's like people like the kids like logan paul's love them like logan paul's base love to the stuff yeah and stuff so like all this stuff is humorous is entertaining to yeah to so just like it's it's hard because i know we've talked about this in many degrees or it's like problematic people can be entertaining but sometimes problematic people are just too problematic and it's like where do you draw the line mm -hmm. well, yeah. i agree so tying it back to sports Sports. <laughs> I, would like to, I would like to summarize. We're at about a minute 30 now, so I'd like to summarize. Um, we're, hour at 30. A minute, we're at a minute 30? Well, an hour 30. Okay, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> we're at an hour 30. I'd like to summarize. Like, Thinking tying it back into sorts is I think a lot of people take for granted not only the influence that athletes have over their lives, the actual like difference between the lifestyles and income that they're living between us. Absolutely. Without right. a doubt. Yeah. This is no matter you take it internationally, you look at LeBron James, you look at a Messi, or you look at a LeBron fucking James. whoever your favorite lacrosse player is. They're making infinitely more than you ever could doing your talent. Yeah. Uh, just because people are profiting off of it. Literally. Yeah. yeah. They could be making more, but people are profiting off. Exactly. Yeah. Off of them, yeah. 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 So as we judge our favorite athletes and our, our, our favorite professional peoples, let's let's make sure they're being treated fairly as they do it, you know, you know, and maybe yeah. support people of like like different races or creeds or genders to do the same thing because we've literally never seen if they can do good or not. It, it's your own personal bias. If you think a woman can't do as good at something, you've literally never seen it in most cases. Now. Yeah, exactly. Is there a woman baseball team? Yes. Yes. There is a woman is baseball there? league, but. Damn. I didn't it must be so small. I saw it on, like, I never hear about it. Fuck. Is it it's another one the, of the things. The WML. Like the WNBA oh, or something? I, like, yeah. I won't lie. I don't know what it's called. Okay. But that's... I will also point to that as a direct example of why do you think they will only show you women playing softball but not baseball? Oh, um, right. that makes sense because it's a easier sport. To, softball is easier, yeah. quote unquote, right? Right. Unquote. right. Yeah. Are we are we moving? Well, I was Did waiting for a whole Okay, so uh, summarize. Thank you for watching. I'm Bailey. This is Raza. This is Wine Mom. We're marching into mom. madness. <laughs> there you go. Outro given. You can follow us on social media at the same name, marching, M-A-R-C-H-I-N-G, into madness on any of them. All right. We'll see you later. Thank you. If Why you do you hang spell around, marching? <laughs>